hammer and an army carbine. When I was a fighting man, I used the very same. A solid frame can put an extra sting in every slice. One thing's worse than the heat in Colford Cauldron. The smell. Like rotten eggs. The cauldron boiled over some 300 years ago. They say it filled the skies with ash and the lakes with molten rot. If you wanted to survive something like that, you had to learn to adapt. So, in a way, the beasts of the wilds, they're all survivors, too. It takes a certain stubborn pride to keep on living in a place like this. As for us, we learned an awful lot from Colford Cauldron. That learning led to some interesting inventions. The raw power of the world fell right into our hands. Playing with the cauldron's fires became an addiction. Fault our people for their natural curiosity now, can you? Sure, we dusted off a good many secrets out here. But we discovered other things we're better off not knowing. The unforgiven scent of sulfurous dirt. Taste the air so hot it sticks to your lungs. 
sorts of awful things crawling on the foot. You can cook those things, but you can't eat them. Never thought we'd find so much life in all that ash. We kept on sifting through the cauldron's secrets anyway. The more ash we swept aside, the more life we found. Places inhospitable as they come. But still we pressed on. Inside Colford Cauldron. Look down through all the smoke and flames. We saw in there the heart of the world. The heart now laid bare by the calamity. We had to have it. As for the kid, he just has to get that shard out of there. Too bad taking that thing woke up every last stink eye from here to Jawson Bog. Kid's thinking he's got to trek all the way back around the cauldron. Luckily, the cauldron cooked up a little shortcut for him. Sure, it ain't the most convenient path. Biggest stink eyes ever seen is waiting for him on the other side. Well, it ain't polite to stare. Stink eye, there's always more.
the cauldron's tenants all gather up to bid the kid a fond farewell. The kid don't shed any tears for him, though. With a good spyglass, you can still see the cauldron from the city. But all the fires died out. There's nothing left of it. It comes back looking like the inside of a chimney. They said the wild could never be tamed, if only they could see us now. We're all a little short on friends these days, so that's a welcome sight. The culture, a still life of old unwanted keepsakes. The conscience, we haven't lost everything, long as we have that. <laughs> <laughs>